If there's one aspect of working with symbols in fireworks that I just adore, it is the ability to create buttons. Buttons are these wonderful little navigation elements that allow people to go places, do things, that kick off events. They're just so, so intrinsic and built into the process that they've almost become commonplace. And creating a button in fireworks is dead simple. And to get yourself started, I want you to open the button.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see it's just a simple auto shape that's been beveled. You can see there's the uh, bevel right there. And it's got the word up on it. So we're kind of looking at the up state. Well, not really. This is not a button yet. What you do is you just marquee the whole object. And you can convert it to a symbol by going to modify symbol, convert to symbol, press the F8 key, or what I normally do is just right click on the selection and convert it to a symbol. And we're gonna call this one blue underscore BTN. I tend to use the underscore BTN so that at a glance, if I'm looking at it in the library, I know that it's a button symbol. And I'm going to choose the button type, of course, because we don't need it to be a graphic or an animation. And I really don't need nice slice scaling, nor do I need to have this available to every document I'll ever create after this one uh, by saving it to the common library. So I'm just gonna have it saved to this document, click OK, and you'll see that something new appears. What this is called is a web layer or a web slice. And it, they're green in color. And if I go to the layers panel right here, and I just turn off the visibility of the button, you can see that it's got this area here. And when I turn on the button, you get this broken up area here. These are the slices. It'll slice the page for you, but this is the important part. Now, why do I need this? Well, I need this because buttons are interactive and I can use a button to go to a link. I can use a button to kick up some alt text, or I can even go to a target window if I'm going to a URL. Now, if you find this to be distracting, it can be turned off. It's the web layer, and you can turn off the visibility of the web layer simply by turning off its visibility in the uh, panel, or the layers panel, or you can come over to the tools panel, and there are two little buttons in the web area. Uh, this one shows slices, this one turns them off. So if I click that, it's off. Okay, so I've got the button done, and if I click on it, I know it's a button because I've got that little plus symbol there now. You probably can't see it, so let's zoom in. And there it is, there's that little blue plus symbol right there. That tells me I'm working in a symbol. Okay, now zoom out to 100%. Now let's put this thing to work. So what you do is you double click the symbol, and we're gonna do up, over, and down state. So you double click the symbol to go into edit and place mode. And you'll notice that the properties panel changes almost immediately. Now I'm gonna pull this up so you can see what we're doing. You get four states of a button, they're right here, up, over, down, over, well down, so that means that it stays selected, and then there's an active area. You can actually identify the area where the mouse needs to be for the button to become active. And what we're going to do now is create the different states. So we're gonna to go to the over state. What's it gonna look like when it's over? So we go to over, and you notice the button disappears, and the reason the button disappears is because there's no graphic there. Now you can import a graphic, you can see right here, or you can copy the up graphic. I think copying the up graphic is a good idea here. So we'll just copy the up graphic, and you notice there it is. And we're gonna change the state. So the first thing we wanna do is just change the word up to over. And let's, and it's gonna ask you to update the text in the other states, no, we want it only in this state. And we'll just move this over so we can see it. And let's change the look of the button so that it's over. And let's use the bevel for that. And we'll just uh, say, look, when we roll over it, the button's going to be highlighted. And that's done. And then we come back to the button and we say, okay, we need a down state. So we select down, we're gonna copy the over graphic. So the over graphic comes in and we're gonna change the text. So we'll change it to the word down. And we're not gonna change the text in the other button states. We want it just strictly for this one. And we're gonna change the look of the button itself 
to inset. So it looks like it's been pushed in. And that's done. And now that we've got this done, we can come back to page one. There's our button. And you're probably going to want to try it out. Well, here's a great way of doing it. If you come up to the top of the document window, there's a preview button here. If you select preview, what this does is it actually makes things live. So if you roll over, you notice there's the overstate. And if you click, it's down. And now we're going to add a, another state to the button. So we're going to come back to the original, back into the button itself, and we'll do over while down, and we'll copy the down graphic, and we'll just change the look of this button here from inset to inverted. And let's see how that looks. We'll go back to page one, preview, there's the over, there's the down, and there's the over while down. So there you go. There's creating a button in Fireworks. Dead simple to do. You just choose your elements. You can right click on it, convert it to a symbol, which is the button symbol. And then what you do is you double click and edit in place and start working with the various states that are available to you. You can change text. You can change the color. You can do anything you want with it. And the best part of all, is that if you come to your library, the document library, the button is sitting there. So it can be reused in many places throughout the document.